to get a custom Roblox cursor just like the one you can see on screen, the first thing you guys are going to do is head down to the link in the description below, click on my website, and it will have pretty much all the resources that we're going to be using in this video. Now we're on the cursor page and basically scroll until you find one that you like. So in this case, I like this cursor the best, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Then I'm going to go ahead and click download. Go ahead, go to your downloads, unzip the cursor file by clicking extract all. And now we have this cursor folder with our cursor image. And the next thing you're going to do is go into your files, go into desktop, and find a Roblox player and click open file location. Now scroll up to content, textures, click on cursors, then click on keyboard and mouse. Now this is the custom one that I already have in here, but basically what you're going to need to go ahead and do is go over to photopia.com. I'll also have this linked on my website below. And what you're essentially going to do with this is you're going to make sure that the cursor that you have chosen is the correct size. So what you're going to do is drag in one of the ones that are already in this folder. Now go ahead and find the cursor that you've just downloaded, drag it in here. And as you guys can see, this one actually is going to work perfectly fine because the center of the mouse right here is also a part of the where you would be clicking with this mouse. So that's all good. So you can go ahead and X this out. You don't have to save anything because you know that it's the correct size. And now with the cursor that you downloaded previously, go ahead and rename it error cursor dot PNG. And now you can go ahead and drag this into your keyboard and mouse. And now you have your error cursor dot PNG. And when you restart Roblox, you guys will now have this arrow cursor. Now, if you want this to be the default for everything, you can go ahead and duplicate this and rename and rename it with these names right here. That way it's always the exact same and it never changes. 